This is Pastor Richard, and you are watching Hymnal 101 with Higher Things. Over the last several weeks, we have covered the opening pages of the hymnal, things such as the lectionary as well as the glossary, knowing how to look up words in this hymnal to see what they mean and how to pronounce them, as well as last week covering the psalms, in fact, how to sing them, chant them, if you will. However, up to this point, we really haven't talked about implementing and using this hymnal in the local home. Now, sure, we understand the hymnal is to be used on Sundays in our church services, as well as the middle of the week with church services, but using them in the home, how does that work? Now, I don't know about yourself, but I know for me, waking up in the morning is always a difficult task. I'm not a morning person. I stumble upstairs, I grab my coffee, and I sit down at that kitchen table with my family. And then the thought of doing family devotions, well, it can be overwhelming. It's like, my goodness, I can't even function at this time in the morning. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? What am I going to use? Thankfully, the hymnal has that all laid out for us so that for those of you leading these family devotions, whether it's a mom leading your children or a dad leading your whole family, for you, you have this all laid out so that you're not only blessed yourself, but you can be a blessing to the rest of your family. And that really comes in something called daily prayer. It's found on page 294, and it looks something like this, page 294, it's daily prayer for individuals and families. Now with this daily prayer, you have daily prayer for the morning, noon, early evening, and late close of the day as well. And they're all laid out fairly similar, uh, having a very consistent format for each of those different daily prayers that you can lead your family in. Now, how does this work? What does this look like? Let me just pull up a sheet here and show you briefly how this looks. Uh, This is from Morning Prayer on page 295. And as you'll see here, uh, there is text, and some text is bold, and some text is not bold. I'll just bring my cursor over here to show you. That which is not bold is going to be uh, belonging to the leader. So maybe perhaps it's a dad. The dad would say in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And when you see that sign of the cross there, uh, the dad would make the sign of the cross, and the family would make the sign of the cross in their head and their heart. And then the bold indicates that the whole family uh, would say amen together. And then the dad would say, in the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. And the whole family would respond, in the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. And as you can see, we're actually confessing scripture here, uh, which the scripture is listed by that. Now, after you're done with this opening, what's called the versicle, we want to move on. And I'll show you how this works. It's just really cool how this works. It says, a hymn, a canticle or psalm may be sung or spoken. Now, this is what's so neat. What we learned last week about singing the Psalms, you can actually then page back to the Psalms and then sing a Psalm with your family. But then that brings up a good question. What Psalm do we sing? Indeed, what Psalm do we sing? Well, in the very back of this daily prayer, there's a section here And it says here, there's a daily lectionary and a daily psalm. Let me turn to that page just briefly. It says a table of psalms right here, a table of psalms for daily prayer. So for whatever day you are in, you can look to this table to find out which psalm to sing for that day. Then we go back to our morning prayer. And as we can see here, after we sing a psalm or a hymn from here, then an appointed reading. They have some suggested readings here as well. But then again, if you don't want to do those readings, you can say to yourself, what reading should I do? Well, then again, you have not only that lectionary at the very beginning, but you also have a daily lectionary in this hymnal to see which text to read. The daily lectionary is great. You have these texts from the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. And in following that daily lectionary, you can actually cover the majority of the New Testament and a third of that Old Testament in simply following these readings. And then once you are done with those readings, back to our morning prayer, it suggests that you may, now this is not mandatory, but you may read a portion of the small catechism as well. And then when you're done with that, you would recite the Apostles' Creed as the whole family and then the Lord's Prayer and then prayers for others and ourselves. Now, you may say to yourself, uh, how do I pray? What do I say during those prayers? And that's, again, where the hymnal has helped us out. In the hymnal, there's a whole section of prayers. Those prayers are found, give me a second here, they're found right after the daily prayer. Prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving right here on page 305. There's prayers here for the church and the mission of the church, prayers uh, for our enemies, prayers for persecuted Christians, prayers uh, for the family, for the baptism of life. There's these rich prayers that you simply pull from to read, pulling those in to that daily uh, prayer service that you have in our hymnal. And then when you are done with those prayers, 
you can simply look, they have a concluding prayer that you can pray together in bold. And at the very end, you say, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then you go off to school, you go off to work and go off to the duties of the day. So the point being how this daily prayer works for the morning, lunch, also early evening and late close of the day is that you have a format set out for you. And then when it comes to reciting that, the part that is non-bold is the actual leader and the bold is the rest of the family. When it comes to scriptures, you look to the daily lectionary. When it looks to the Psalms, you look to that Psalm chart. When you look to prayers, you look into that hymnal to pull prayers. It's all laid out and it's different each day as you encounter different texts, different prayers, and different psalms uh, in this pattern of daily prayer for you and your family. So I encourage you, check it out. Again, it is on page 294 and following. Check it out, try it, work through it. And as you will find as you're going through this, perhaps you may find yourself maybe pressed for time. And as a result of that, no worries. You just can move through this as simply as possible, maybe doing those opening versicles. And if you're pressed for time, then skipping maybe that hymnal or, or psalm and going to an appointed reading. And then if you have time another day, then you can do the catechism as well. Uh, it's the beauty of how it works, that consistency of over and over and over for you and your family. So check it out, try it out, and I hope it helps, and we'll catch you next time.